Hello class, welcome to my demo of how to draw a two-point perspective city. So what I'm doing now is drawing the horizon line with the two vanishing points on the right and the left. Everything that will be drawn will go into those two vanishing points. The city line, the building, the building lines are parallel to each other but everything else will be going into either the right or the left vanishing point. So now I'm just drawing different varied sizes of buildings. Um, I'm erasing the horizon line to clean up the space a little bit. Um, I'm erasing the lines that point to the vanishing points to clean up the space. And now I'm just going to be creative and start adding some more buildings as you can see, to, to cover the streets there, um, I've got, what, five buildings now? Um, putting in some little alleys, putting in some buildings in the background. You see how the corners, one goes to the right vanishing point and the other goes to the left vanishing point, depending on what side it's pointing to making the lines a little bit thicker. Now I'm going to be putting in a sidewalk. I drew a little line at the bottom there going towards the vanishing points on the left and the right. Now I'm drawing the little lines on the sidewalk. As you can see, the ones on the right are pointing towards the vanishing point on the left. So the ones on the left will be pointing towards the vanishing point on the right. Now I'm drawing the road, I'm gonna do some Lines for the road there. Now as you can see, I'm doing the doors of the buildings. So the trick with doing doors is to always draw the line of the door that's furthest away from the vanishing point. So if you're going towards the right vanishing point, you're going to draw the line of the door that's on the left first. Now we're gonna add some windows. So the trick with the windows is the same thing. Draw the line of the window that's furthest away from the vanishing point. So if you're drawing towards the right vanishing point, you're gonna first draw the left side of the window. If you're drawing towards the left vanishing point, you're gonna draw the right side of the window. See how I did that? Now I'm just cleaning up the lines. Now I'm drawing some more windows. I'm gonna be drawing some poster, billboard type looking things just to add some interest and some fun and to be creative with my cityscape. And with these, I'm wanting you to draw the city that you want to visit, whether that's imaginary or real. Um, I'm drawing Denver. This partially imaginative, partially real. I'll be putting in some mountains later on to signify Denver. I ran out of time. I would have added more elements to signify Denver, but I might do that while we're in class. So now I'm just continuing to draw windows, lots of windows and signs, just to add some interest there. Always making sure that the lines that are vertical are parallel with each other. The horizontal lines are the ones that are always going to be going towards the vanishing points, whether the left vanishing point or the right vanishing point. But all the vertical lines need to be parallel to each other, straight up and down. This is what will give the image the three-dimensional form that we're looking for. We're also creating space because it looks like it's going into space, the vanishing points 
and the way the buildings are shaped. So this project will be learning, well, using line, form, space, shape, um, color, because we'll be coloring these. Now I'm adding a little bit of more sidewalk there. Putting in a little bit of uh, detail work on the buildings. Going to do some lines. Notice how all the lines are going towards the right vanishing point because it's the right side of the building. And then when I draw lines on the left side of the building, they'll be going towards the left vanishing point. I'm just having fun and adding some various details. I want you guys to have fun with these projects. Create a real or imaginative city that you'd like to visit. And please ignore my crazy weekend hair.